Hi, this is Tony Bessinger with Sailing World Magazine. We're here at the United States Sailboat Show in Annapolis, Maryland, on board the latest from Archambault, their 40RC, a racer cruiser designed by Joubert Novell. We're here with Dave Gundell, who's going to walk us through the boat. Thanks, Tony. I'm really looking forward to this one. This represents the latest thinking in IRC Racer Cruiser out of Europe, where they've done a great job producing powerful boats with spacious interiors. Let's have a look around. Sounds great. The Archibald 40 RC comes standard with a pair of carbon fiber wheels, nice and light back here in the stern of the boat. Another advantage of the double wheels are when you're having fun, when you're in cruise mode, plenty of access to the stern. Of course, when you're in race mode and you're taking care of business, you've got a nice, beautiful view right down the shear line. The 40RC also comes with an option of a tiller, so there's some skippers who prefer that in a 40-foot boat. It is doable. The mainsail trimmer station just forward of the wheel allows them to talk to each other without shouting. And let's look at how easy it's going to be for the main sheet trimmer to handle that big sail. The traveler's right here. Here's a great foot brace. My backstay, and this, is, this setup is repeated on the port side, so you also have a backstay pump on the port side, and of course, the main sheet right here. So I have everything I need at fingertips, including my helmsman, so we can walk our way through the big puffs together. Continuing our look from the perspective of a racing crew, I really like this. I'm hiking hard, coming into the weather mark. There's no rail here. It's very comfortable, it's very easy. I've got the topping lift in my hand, the bow approaches the mark, I can easily pull the pole up, it's up, and I jump into the pit, the vang's right here, help them turn down, here's my spinnaker halyard, I hoist everything I need at my fingertips, I'm low, I'm out of the way, I like this setup a lot. So the boat is equipped with some wonderful standing rigging and running rigging, including some solid spin lock jammers and Ron stand turning blocks throughout. So when I'm looking at a new race boat, I always pay close attention to the work area where the bow team and the mast team are gonna be getting it done. And I like what I see here. It's rounded, it's smooth, the non-skid seems great. And for the mast man, it's a wonderful place. You can jump the halyard and for that last little bit, you're right there. The 40RC that we're looking at here at the US Sailboat Show in Annapolis is equipped with the optional carbon package. This is a carbon fiber spinnaker pole, carbon fiber mast, and a carbon fiber boom. Also of note is the fact that these boats sail with a traditional symmetric spinnaker and a dip pole jibe, but there also is a masthead asymmetric kite available. To set the asymmetric kite, you fly it off the same pole, you just lock her in at the lowest setting and she goes right out the bow. Real nice situation in case things change down the racetrack, in case you need to do a little tactical move or squeeze down to make a mark, you can pull the pole up and crank it back and sail that A sail like an S sail. Believe it or not, we're down below on the same boat. Yep, just up top, that big, powerful, robust racing platform down below. She's bright, she's airy, tons of headroom. I'm standing in the galley, and note the word standing. At six foot two, there aren't a lot of 40 foot race boat galleys I can stand in, but there's room to spare here, and I really like the feel of things. A couple neat features to notice. I like these cabinets. They open the opposite direction as you would expect, allow easy access and great visibility into what's in there. Secondly, a nice deep fridge. And in the sink, a water pump, including hot water. Access to the engine is a snap. Simply push a button, drop the stairs forward. There's the engine, there's the batteries. There also is access on the sides of the engine from the aft cabins. I'm at the nav desk. It's a very comfortable setup. I can communicate well with the folks up on deck. Traditional desk arrangement, but also note this. There's a great cutout I can take out and have access to my laptop also note there's a USB cable. All the instruments on the boat are wired in through this. One connection into your laptop, pre-wired, good to go. Moving forward, there's a spacious double berth in the bow. Forward of the mast on the starboard side, the head. Take my word for it, a six foot two man can stand at full height. Now aft, there are double cabins on both sides. They are matching. Crew dinner after a fun day on the water, plenty of room for it here. We've unfolded the table. I love this wood. There's beautiful wood accents throughout down here. Of course, it's a French boat, so there's a wine rack. Keep it right there in the middle. I like that a lot. So Tony, the phrase racer cruiser is something that gets thrown around a lot at boat shows and along the dockside, but rarely have I seen it executed as well as we have here today with the Archibald 40 RC. Up top side, she's a powerful racing platform. She's gonna do great on the water. Down below, I could barely believe it was the same boat. It's beautiful down there. And I really look forward to seeing this thing at Key West in January 2009 make her debut. And we look forward to seeing her in the Boat of the Year competition, which we'll be doing later on this week here in Annapolis. 
For Sailing World Magazine, I'm Tony Bessinger. And to learn more about the whole program, visit www.archibaud-boats.ca. On behalf of Archibaud Boats, I'm Dave Gundell. Thanks for watching.